Hi, today we're going to show you how to mix ink. All printers use the Pantone matching system for mixing colour. Now this is the PMS book or Pantone book. It has 1677 colours in it. All the colours are identified by a number. If printing can be compared to cooking, this would be our cookbook. But not just any cookbook, it would be a four ingredients cookbook because we can mix any of the colours in the book using no more than four ingredients. Today we're mixing PMS 455 which is the bottom colour there, um, it's a brownie olivey colour. So we'll take you through the processes of mixing the ink. These are the 14 colours we need to mix all of the 1677 colours in the Pantone book. And for PMS 455 we need these four colours. When mixed together in the correct percentages using the PMS book and digital scales, we end up with our colour. When I did my apprenticeship, my boss made me mix inks using the trial and error process. Mix a little bit, bit of ink here, a little bit of ink there, put it on the press, test it, take a print, have a look at the colour, add a bit more ink here and there, uh, very time consuming and inaccurate when all it takes is a set of inexpensive kitchen scales like this just digital kitchen scales takes all of the guesswork out of it and it means we can mix a perfect color first time every time okay one thing that's worth mentioning is that the Pantone book comes in two sections a gloss and a matte section the reason why we have two books is because the colour can look totally different between gloss and matte papers. So today we're running an A4 letterhead which is matte. So it's very important that we use the matte book to match the colour up. First thing we do before we mix our inks is we get our colours ready. And you can see that we've got our colours here ready to go. We've got Pantone Yellow, Pantone Warm Red, Pantone Reflex Blue and Pantone Black. The first thing we do is put a piece of A5 card on the scales and then zero them. The first colour we're adding is the Pantone yellow and we're going for 70 grams. After we have the correct weight, we zero the scales for the next colour. The next colour we're adding is the Pantone Warm Red, and this time we need 5 grams. Okay. Now we add the Pantone Reflex Blue. We're going again for 5 grams. The last colour we add is the Pantone Black and this time we're going for 20 grams. Now we have all the colours in their correct percentages, it's time to mix the ink. All inks are transparent. This means that the colour we see when mixed usually looks nothing like it is in the Pantone book. So thanks to our digital kitchen scales and the Pantone book, we've run a thousand A4 letterheads and as you can see, we've matched the colour exactly. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you've learned a bit more about ink mixing and also the Pantone matching system. 
Don't forget, you can check us out at www.simplyprint.net.